Last night was not a cool scene at BMO Field. And I have family uh, who all the time go down to BMO Field to support our Canadian soccer programs. All the time. They never shut up on the, on the WhatsApp chat, ever. About it's one, it all? Just, just generally. Mm -hmm. It's one, con good, bad, or indifferent. It's just one constant dialogue. I went to bed last night, and I woke up, and there was not a peep on that chat. That was the mood, okay. I'm assuming, after the game yesterday. So let me set the scene, because about a year ago at this time, Canada were days away from their World Cup opener in Qatar against Belgium. The good old days. In the year that has transpired since, it has been a complete gong show. Complete gong show. And yesterday is kind of the disappointment cherry on top of the disappointment Sunday. Because Canada, we're hosting a World Cup in 2026. A reminder to everyone out there, which means our men's team needs to play games. Our men's team, because they're playing in that tournament, needs to stay sharp. We need to organize. We need to be ready. None of that was on display last night at BMO Field against Jamaica. Uh, Canada allowed three second-half goals on a rainy night by Lake Ontario. Well, th these were the good old days early on when Alfonso Davies scored. But what happened is Jamaica scored three times in the second half. It's only their third win on the road in North America ever in their men's soccer history. So Canada's chance at qualifying for the Nations League semifinals and finals in Arlington, Texas next year, gone. So those important games are now completely out of the picture. And they now have a one-game playoff in March to get into the Copa America next summer, which is a combination of South American teams and our nation. Big picture, we need to play games that matter. And that loss last night is taking away the possibilities of playing games that matter. I'm really upset. I'm really upset, Mayor. A year ago at this time, I'm at Cafe Diplomatico on the other part of town, the Great place spot. is buzzing. Yeah. The country's buzzing. And it's like someone took a fire extinguisher to my face and just doused it all. And I don't know where to go with this. I'm but, very upset. But where, where, where is this coming from? Not you're upset, but the, the malaise. Like, how did the loss happen? Is it players? Is it coaching? Is it, what is it? Organization? Well, what, I think what people forgot last summer was how small time we are. We are one of the most small-time soccer nations in the world, and all of a sudden, this it's like we had a one-hit wonder in music, and we I didn't see. know how to handle it. Okay. You know so what I mean? fame got to our head. Like, we're right said Fred. Yeah. <laughs> we're too sexy. And we yeah. thought we were too sexy for the catwalk. Mm -hmm. We're not. We're like everybody else. And all this money came in from the World Cup, and we should be booking a lot of games against teams that matter to prepare our guys, because we don't have any other games. Well, guess what? The games are evaporating very quickly, and I don't know what shape our men's program's gonna be in by the time we get to that World Cup. It's just so disappointing. I was so happy. I felt so good. And you know what the highlight is for Canada soccer right now? What's it? Honestly, yeah. Christine Sinclair's goodbye right. on December the 5th. <laughs> the, in Vancouver against Australia, I'm not kidding. That yeah. is now the highlight. That's what I'm looking forward to, is to give respect to this titan of Canadian athleticism. Right. And that's and it's a sad story. But right. that's now the right. only thing I'm looking forward to because we're frauds on and off the field. That's it. And I'm just so sad. I'm so disappointed. I'm glad you're here because oh, I love gosh. working here. You know, I need to pick me up today. I look great. You, you look great. You, <laughs> but like, sad Sid is, is tough. Angry Sid, we can we can get somewhere. But sad Sid, I don't it's, like it's a sad mix. Sid. I'm sad. The look on your face to me was very it was very oh, kind. Very supportive Last of you. word to you. Well, why should I feel better? Uh, you should feel better because Tammy Sutherland is in the house Good point. and she always knows what to do. Good point. That's always leveling me out, <laughs> Mayor. That's Tammy's well, there, tapping there, me on the show. It's 7 o'clock. Good people. You're watching Beat Team.